happened from people that I've never been familiar with the role. The, the, they called themselves U.S. Marshals. They entered the courtroom with no identity, uh, in plain clothes, and I noticed their body energy, and I went over to them, and I said, you look like you are looking at the person who is trying to sign up under the judge's instruction, and that is what is happening. Do you have some intention? And they charged right into the courtroom, and they took him down. And so I'm just asking, as a co-ad member, and when this is a proceeding that there's supposed to be some sense of justice, that this even happened, and can we find out what the role truly is of a U.S. Marshal? Thank you. <laughs> So at the co-op, we've talked about trauma-informed care practices, and seeing something like that really traumatized me. Now, I've missed other yes. things going on in co-op. I happen to not be there. But I think it's important that, because a lot of us got to know each other, that that's part of it, that we learn to work with this trauma together and have that as part of our meetings. Like, I'm glad you brought that up, because that was I, I walked away from that, and there was no closure for me for that. So that's a great thing. And think about how do we work with trauma? I have something to say. Uh, I was at the hearing, and first of all, I'm very impressed with Judge Simon. He made sure that everyone was heard, and he stayed after. We were supposed to end at 5, and I believe it went on until 6.30. It seems that he really wanted to hear what everyone had to say, and it doesn't necessarily mean that a person is going to get up there and say everything's bright and rosy. People are going to be frustrated. They are going, and that's going to come out. But the point is that Judge Simon wanted to take the pulse of the situation and understand people so that he could make a fair and just decision. And that's what really impressed me. One thing, uh, if a person says something who, that is not appropriate, uh, you should call them out on the spot right there. If it wasn't okay, then the judge should have called them out and moved on. So nothing was called out during this time, and now after the fact, we're seeing this complaint. Yeah. That's a good point. So that's just curious to me. And I read this complaint again and again, and I think this type of, bringing this type of attention to this specific incident, uh, of course this incident can be resolved, you know, we can discuss about what was appropriate or what was not appropriate, but this, the formality of this complaint, it seems a distraction from the point. And the city and the community has very different perspectives about how we express frustration. 